The next guest we're inviting on stage is a man who's about to take us to the next level in stepping up and celebrating by the grace of God. But before I bring him on, talking about technology, everyone will have a presentation by the FGGC Shadano Girls, doing us proud on the global scene. And in terms of technology, they developed a robot. Who can remember the name of the robot? Say it louder. Kiki Shaggy. If you have not, if you have not developed a robot, please start for them. Please celebrate them. These are the future and the wise women who support them, we celebrate them. We have Kiki Shaggy in the house. And I'm going to hand over to LGBT Shagamu as Kiki Shaggy has a word for us this afternoon. Please let's celebrate them as they come on stage. Good afternoon, our excellencies. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, press and press, women and men of press. We are the robotic team from Federal Government Girls College Shagamu. We are here to present you the first version of our humanoid robot named Okikiola Shagamu, aka Kiki Shaggy. Kiki is six feet tall, it can move around, it can recognize faces, it can shake hands. There are two subdivisions that mainly work on this project, and they are the software subdivision and the address subdivision. Now, I give the floor to the software subdivision for their presentation. Programming Kiki wasn't an easy task at all, due to the varieties of programming languages used. The processor, which is literally Kiki's brain, is what I'll be talking about. While programming Kiki, we made it up four different processors, which were the Red Control Hub, the Arduino Nano, the Raspberry Pi 4, and the NVIDIA Jetson O-Ring. After the use of the Red Control Hub for the movement of Kiki, where we use block program that translates to Java, we made use of the NVIDIA Jetson O-Ring. The NVIDIA Jetson O-Ring was an internationally sub processor from China. Although it was quite complex, but we pulled through. The Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi 4 processor was programmed with Python programming language. The Raspberry Pi 4 processor served as a mini processor for the codes who weren't able to impute into the NVIDIA Jetson O-Ring. The Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is the processor that controls the LED and the OLED light on Kiki's eyes and the back of Kiki's head. The Arduino Nano was programmed with C++. Now, I would like to hand over to my colleague Esther to talk on the difficulties faced while programming Kiki. Thank you, Ella. Now, as my colleague said, programming Kiki was not an easy task at all. We had to go through several programming languages and they were too complex at the point. Now, when we met, when we met with programs that were too complex for us to comprehend, we met with our coaches. And also, this was why we had to make a trip to Abuja, the Kojuna EdTech Foundation, to meet our mentor who helped us in the software development. Also, we had problems merging the software to the hardware and the camera to the processor, but at the end, we pulled through. Other aspects of the software, like the face recognition, was made possible through the use of open CV, that is, open camera vision. And then, Kiki Shaggy has a virtual assistant, which enables it to respond to global questions when it is being asked. And on this note, I would like to give the floor to the other subdivision, who will talk more on how Kiki was built. During the course of making Kiki, we made use of four different processors, which are the NVIDIA Jetson O-Ring, the Red Control Hub, the Arduino Nano, and the Raspberry Pi 4. The Control Hub. The Control Hub is in control of the mechanism for the actuators of the movement of Kiki's neck, the arm, the wrist, and the feet, which is the wheel's movement. Now, talking about the movement of Kiki, Kiki is able to move through, through the, um, our base and the base and use of six channels and gears. Also, there's a screen on Kiki's chest which enables Kiki to, to see, to navigate, enables users to navigate through the web. 
and also this will help people to see what the camera is capturing. Through this screen, you can navigate through the web, and now you can navigate through the web, and also we can see what the face recognition is showing us. Now we would like to move on to the face recognition aspect. Kiki is able to recognize faces that have been programmed into it. And for this reason, I would like to call on the CEO of Arise, that is Pastor Mrs. Siju Iluyo Maje, to come and perform this task. Close up the camera. The camera can capture your face. Yeah. 